shoddy, but you do not got a right. Yeah. Shit, they got a fuck and they tell me too long to find it. Yeah. I can do a solo while other niggas need sides. It's available, even when it ain't nothing else to talk about. No edibles needed for me to. Guess who's back? Me. So basically, we have Accelerator versus Sadaru Gojo. But let's go over the characters first. Like, before we get to the scalings. Accelerator, aka Mr. No Fucks. So, what are his abilities to be precise? Well, that's simple. His ability is called Vector Manipulation, basically giving him the power to manipulate mostly anything or just like any matter or some shit like that. Like, he could change the momentum. He can stop it basically it's some other shit but now let me just tell you this nigga's main ability like this nigga's bread and butter it's this thing right called the vector shield basically you cannot touch this nigga like any attack you throw at this nigga or shoot at this nigga it will basically reflect back onto you type shit but let me just get to his scalings like let me just tell you what the fuck this man does my nigga let me just tell you the shit that this man be just doing accelerator ap solar system to universal to high complex multiversal now for the solar system feat it's actually pretty explainable because you know he shook a whole galaxy and shit and the required power to like shake like a whole galaxy and shit you got to be at least like solar system or like solar system plus or possibly maybe even galaxy but for the uni feat right he basically gets like perfect control of like his vector manipulation right and he basically starts manipulating the universe and shit. So, you know, that's technically universal. Now for the high complex multiversal feat, I got you on that. So basically, he had like a contract, right, with this god, right? The one that made the Tree of Cliff Off. And basically gained the knowledge of the whole Tree of Cliff Off. So now he can technically use the abilities and shit, you know, law manipulation, all that shit. So basically, he fights this goddess, aka this crazy bitch, was basically comparable to this other goddess, right? Let me me just tell y'all something about this particular goddess right like it's like a 50 50 chance right that she can go full power and there's like a 50 50 chance that she'll basically be absolutely weak as fuck so basically when she goes full power she will technically have the reality warp in, and you know the reality warp will basically have the full control of an 11d world including all of its dimensions you know technically making it high complex multiversal and basically crazy bitch scales to that so basically what i'm saying is since accelerator basically blocked her attack which is you know the flame sword and shit which is technically like you know 11 dimensional and shit since he blocked and reflected it that should definitely now make him high complex multiversal okay now since i'm done explaining that shit now it's time to go over his speed sub relativistic to ftl to possibly immeasurable speed for sub relativistic bro you already know he's basically able to react to light beams and shit or like sub relativistic plus or you could just flat out just say relativistic plus or some shit like that but basically like he doesn't really dodge he just mostly just take the attack and just rake he just mostly just tank the attack and just redeflect that bitch right back at you so what's the point of him just dodging you get what i'm saying but for FTO, he basically fights a bitch that's basically FTO speed. I forgot to mention the accessible speed feat. Now, look, 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 look. Basically, Tomura, right? He basically moved where it was like a raced universe or some shit like that. And basically, you know, a universe has space and time. Basically, all of that was erased. It. And basically, Tomura was still able to move in it. So he should technically have accessible speed because it has no time, no space, none of that shit. And basically, accelerators are scaled to that. So for a measurable speed, okay, now this is where the shit kind of gets a little tricky and shit because this is where I put possibly measurable speed. But basically, 11D, high complex, kind of sums up to a measurable speed, to be honest. But I mean, it could be debunked. That's why I said possibly. So in conclusion, this is accelerator stats, AP, planet to solar system to uni plus to high complex multiversal. And his speed should be like sub relativistic to relativistic plus FTO to accessible speed to possibly immeasurable speed. Now, now for hacks and abilities just pause the video and just read this shit bro because i am not finna explain all them goddamn hacks and abilities bro but i'm gonna just sum it up for like some of y'all niggas but basically oh shit damn for some reason i do not feel like reading that damn you're gonna have to pause the video and read it but now for gojo scalings gojo ap multi city block plus to small town to town but to be honest you could just use that for his destructive capacity because most of his attacks actually neg durability like he could basically negate durability on a subatomic level let's say i have solar system durability but i'm slow as shit and like gojo's attack is faster than me basically if that shit hits me 
I'm kind of fucking dead. But if you're like Universal Plus or higher, you should be able to tank it. But now for his speed, Supersonic Plus to Hypersonic Plus with his ability. Now, people try to make you believe that he actually has like accessible speed or some shit because it says right here, looks like time doesn't pass here. But if you look around him, what do you see? You don't see like an endless fucking space where there's no time nor space. You literally see fucking skeletons trying to touch his ass. And if you look closely, Gojo's literally laying his ass down, which means the shit has a solid surface. But he could be using his powers. It is a timeless void. I promise it is. Okay, now just to debunk that he's not using his powers for this shit. Look what's around him. The skeletons. Look at the skeletons. They're standing. They're not falling. So you're saying basically the skeletons also have spatial manipulation to the point where they can float with gojo and the thing about it, this is literally the only scan that people use to prove that gojo has accessible speed which is only one fucking scan one fucking panel they try to debunk goku accessible speed but he has multiple claims of it he has more than at least five gojo only has one like come on now that doesn't make any fucking sense and not just that mahito actually dodges a serious punch from fucking gojo while fucking smiling this nigga is smiling while dodging a serious punch from gojo and yes this motherfucker was serious bro look how straight this man's face look so that should like prove my goddamn scale to be right with his speed to be like supersonic plus to hypersonic plus if he uses his fucking powers that should put Mahito at like supersonic plus then. Now for his hacks and abilities. Spatial manipulation, hollow purple, durability negation, regeneration, the limitless, the limitless, domain expansion, aka the immeasurable void. Now let's prove that these so-called misconceptions are actually correct. Number one, the infinity cannot divide accessible speed. Like basically accessible speed cannot even be calc. So how are you going to basically divide something that cannot even be calc? If you get what I'm saying. Basically what I'm saying is like how are you going to divide something that cannot be divided number two uni to uni plus individuals can shatter the infinity now let me explain this shit carefully now if the infinity basically is supposed to create basically infinite spaces or some shit like that what people have been saying it basically is supposed to divide your speed okay basically if it's actually infinite space that's supposed to divide your speed infinite 3d that's literally universal and if niggas can destroy like a universe, that means dead ass, they can actually bypass the infinity. Basically meaning, if you can destroy a universe and the universe literally has infinite 3D space, you're touching Gojo. Number three, spatial attacks can negate the infinity. Now, let me just explain this shit carefully. Gojo literally manipulates space and his weakness is spatial manipulation, where his infinity got literally negated by spatial manipulation. Basically, these niggas use domain amplification. And if you don't know what a domain expansion is, it's basically a spatial expansion. Now, this was actually proven during the Gojo vs. Jogo fight. In the manga, like the anime kind of... Yeah, they skipped some shit. And literally, just to confirm this, Jogo basically said, You're infinity. If we're here in my more potent domain, my jitsu will reach you. Is that correct? And literally, Gojo confirmed it. And just to confirm this is not bullshit, as soon as they use the amplification, you know, the domain amplification and shit, basically, as soon as they were about to punch him, right, Gojo literally dodged it instead of letting them hit him. So yes, he was worried about that damn hit. And Gojo literally gets trapped by a prison room, which is a space that literally traps people in, and he literally got caught in it. And people will try to make the argument that Oh, they basically had to distract him for like a couple seconds. But if it didn't distract him, Gojo would have dodged it or some shit like that. Which technically proves my point that he would have still been worried about the shit. Like it would have still composed as a threat either other way. So in conclusion, Satoru Gojo AP multi-city block to small town to town. Speed, supersonic to hypersonic plus with his abilities. Now for the fight. Holy shit, these stats massive. So for the conclusion about who wins, like Accelerator just flat out negs in any type of way, in any scenario, 10 times out of 10. Like, let's say um Gojo manages to trap Accelerator in the domain expansion, right? And he use Infinite Void, right? Because Accelerator can already process an infinite amount of information. And especially higher since he got the knowledge of the Tree of Cliff off. And he was literally able to calculate a high complex multiversal attack and redeflect it and for the infinity yeah he can literally just nullify it and that's literally me just giving basic arguments like accelerator is literally stronger faster has more hacks has literally counters to gojo while gojo cannot do a damn thing so basically this whole fight was technically
Call him Vegas Benz And I ain't here to make amends I pull up